At present, the largest dam removal project our nation has ever seen is underway in the Pacific Northwest. Dismantling the Elwha and Glines Canyon dams, built without fish passage in the early 1900s, will open up over 90% of the Elwha River watershed to threatened salmon and steelhead populations, all six species of which historically spawned here. This is one of the largest restoration actions that will occur in the Puget Sound area, opening up 70 miles of habitat. The dam removal is going to allow salmon to get up to their natal stream. But right now they can only use about five miles of river in the lower river. And once the dams are removed, there'll be about 70 miles of main stem river habitat that's going to be available for these fish to spawn and rear. And as a result, we think that the population will actually, for all salmonids, will increase over time. To measure the response of salmon populations to the dam removals, George Pess and a team of NOAA fisheries biologists have been working in the Elwha for several years. Does somebody want to record for these last fish? I'll record it. So there were several different types of metrics we were doing today. One metric was doing a fish survey where we looked at three different kinds of ways to count fish. One was a snorkel survey where we get in the water and swim upstream and count the fish that we can identify. Another method is where we used an uh, electroshocker to actually shock the water to temporarily stun these fish to collect them to see who is there. And a third method was to actually seine areas with a large net to capture them. Stickle and a little rookie. Another thing that we did was habitat surveys, where we go in and we try to quantify the amount of habitat that's available to these salmon by measuring the lengths and widths of areas that they're living in and noting how deep areas are. Third thing that we did was we looked at the fish diet. So there we would actually do something called gastric lavage where the fish that we captured, we try to get out of their system what they're actually eating so we can get a better understanding of what they're eating and why. And the last thing that we did was a longitudinal profile. So we surveyed the stream bed to get an idea of what the stream channel looks like because there's approximately 18 million cubic meters of sediment behind these dams and conditions are gonna change dramatically once the dams are removed. To prepare for the increase in sediment and flow as the dams come down, NOAA partnered with the Lower Elwha Clallam Tribe on several floodplain restoration efforts, including the construction of engineered log jams. Because dams have been in place for, for nearly 100 years now, they've basically cut off the river of gravel that is transported throughout the river corridor. We have these bars that are composed of really coarse material. This is Elwha cobble. The river right now is currently dominated by this material and salmon need to actually excavate a nest in the bottom of the river and they're having a really hard time in the Elwha right now because of that lack of smaller sediment sizes. What we hope to do with the log jams is get deposition and collect more of this size material which is suitable for spawning and our log jams have done that, we've documented that. As of July 2012, the Elwha Dam, the lower of the two, has completely come down and revegetation efforts are underway. And as the second dam is removed, NOAA, along with federal, state, and tribal partners, continues to monitor the salmon populations in the Elwha River watershed in the hopes of documenting what is expected to be a dramatic recolonization of the upper river.